Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for staying until the last one. Um, so I'm going to introduce Focal Point to you. It's another kind of asset management, but it's more project-based than CatDD. So to explain it best, you can see why it was created. So it was created originally for the BBC, BBC Sports last year, because they obviously had a huge project on their hands with the Olympics last summer. So it started out because they had a lot of people coming in and out who didn't know where to save their files and what to name them as. They have a lot of incorrect naming and say, uh, saving across various different kinds of storage. They had 50 feet of Final Cut Pro, uh, a lot of different platforms. They were needing things for iPads, iPhones, Android, their website, and their onto-air versions. And of course, they had difficulties with versioning. You'd have a whole group working on one thing, after a team goes home, you need to know which version is your most recent version. And a lot of freelancers, people coming in and out. So obviously it had to be very simple, something intuitive, that you didn't need a lot of training on. So our answer was focal point server. So this is what you'd be faced with to create a project. So you drag and drop everything, no free form text to minimize error, typing errors, spelling errors so that when you search for things later, it can only be football spelled correctly and everything in that search will come up. They are specifically for one thing, the item name to be typed in, so you can find it by the exact name if you want. They customized it to their specific needs. And that's the GUI there with an enlarged search function, so you can see everything clearly there. So on the right hand side, those are all their projects. This is an Adobe NLE workflow. So that's what they've created so far, using those buttons there on the left to create a project. So all of those projects are on the right, they're containers. So you can drag and drop media in there, you can create media in there, and everything that you drag and drop in there or create there is associated with the same metadata tags as when you originally created the project. So there's no need to log everything twice, and you know that all the logs will be correct, so you can always find everything. And we like to say that you can find everything within three clicks. So that's the simplicity of it. And there's your search function. So you know that, say, you created the project, you search for the username test in this case. Everything that's changed in the last hour you can search for, or everything related to football, and the document will come to you. And all the complex work is done behind the scenes, so your average user doesn't need to know how to configure the software. They don't need to know that it's automatically backing everything up for you behind the scenes or where it's saving it, because it will automatically save it in the one place wherever you've set up, say, on your local server or local storage, whatever you like. And it works with everything. So you can have it configured to exactly what you need. So you need two NLEs and a VFX package. That can work. It can mix and match. And it works for Macs, Linux, Windows. So here's a graphics workflow with portfolios. So instead of having just one NLE project, you can have a container there and drag and drop, JPEGs in, Word documents, Excel documents, anything you like. And there on the right, you've got all the various buttons on that Hero One project. So there you've got a view, everyone can view the project. A uh, bin to delete, only the owner can delete it. You can set up your own rules and permissions. Then further across, you've got reveal, so you can see where it is saved in your file folder structure in the background if you want. And create child, the last button on the right there. So you can create uh, an After Effects project within there and have all those tags, which in this case are for BBC News, so Afghanistan, Breakfast Show, Motion Graphics. All those tags will be associated with everything in there as well. And there you can see that this user, Jane Doe, has put the status in progress, and then the one underneath is status rendering. So each project has got a status that will be, in, that will be updated, so you can change that to awaiting graphics, say, and a note will go out to everyone on your network to get a notification in the top right to say, this project by Jane Doe is awaiting graphics. And equally, with your search function here, you could set up the status to awaiting graphics and then it'll be sort of like your personal to-do list on the right there. Everything that's away from graphics will just come in instantly, so the graphics department will know exactly where they are within their workflow. 
it's reliable, so it fails over to another server if you need. Um, resilient, you split your searches over all your servers, and it backs up everything automatically. So the simplicity is just for the user, the back end sorts itself out. And of course it's completely customizable, so you've seen two workflows already. Have as many buttons as you like, as many searches as you like, you can lock the searches, pre-save what you usually search for, and change all that. We also have some integration that we've been doing lately as well. So Route 6 Content Agent is one of our partners. If you do drag and drop something into one of those projects we saw earlier, say uh, it's a JPEG and you want everything to be in TIFFs or you have put all your rushes in and they need to change format, you can preset the mezzanine format and everything dragged and dropped into that project will be taken out by Content Agent, transcoded to your mezzanine format and put back in again. So everything's ready for broadcast in the right format. So where do you set your mezzanine format and how can you add some more detail to your projects before they begin? So this is Focal Point Portal, something we introduced recently. It's a social media type discussion tool, so a collaboration tool, say on your work on the way in, on your iPad or your iPhone, you can type in your idea, give the title, say roughly what it is, and everyone can add what they think about it, add a comment, add a tag, your very first piece of metadata can go in there. And if somebody likes the idea, a commissioning editor with different permissions can come in, click commission, and it becomes a project in Focal Point Server. So you could only have projects in Focal Point Server that have been greenlighted, financed, and funded by your commissioning editor. Of course, before it gets there, the commissioning editor has to add those details. So that's your resolution, your mezzanine format, say the program number, all that kind of thing that needs to go in there before you start. So that's an additional optional add-on for the beginning. And this, just to summarize, this is our archive. So the last stage in the process. So we've had the conception of the idea in Focal Point Portal. It goes into Focal Point Server. You've got all your metadata in there. You can add your rushes, your dubbing, your subtitles, everything in one place. And then now, because that is all in one place, you can archive it as a project. So your whole project, say it's an episode, with all the dubbing, with all the subtitles, can be saved in one place in your archive on one LTO tape and restored again with a right click. So we've got inception to archive and everything in between. And hopefully in a simple way. That's the final focal point there. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.